Welcome to the Money Talks for Beginners podcast. My name is Frankie Ho, a money nerd. Each week, you'll hear me talk about different ways to use money more effectively in your daily life to become a smarter finance person. Thanks for spending your time with me today. Now, let's talk about money. Welcome to the 17th episode of Money Talks for Beginners. Today, we are going to talk about what are the differences between a concentrated uh, portfolio and a diversified portfolio. My, uh, my experience with both of them and my recommendations for you depending on what type of person uh, or investor you are. And of course, you can decide for yourself uh, how you want your, your portfolio to look like. I just want to provide the information for you so you can make an informed decision regarding which type of portfolio makes more sense for you. So first off, let's start off with what is a diversified portfolio. A diversified portfolio is a portfolio that spreads your capital over many different types of assets or types of securities within the same assets class or different assets class like stocks, real estates, commodities, cryptocurrencies, and, and more in order to reduce risk while trying to make a reasonable return. But how does it work? Let, let us use an example to show you guys how does diversification works. So a diversified portfolio might uh, look like something like this. If you are consist of just stocks, but with different sectors, industries, geography, market cap size, and maybe some securities with reverse correlations between them, it might look something like this. You might, you might have a diversified portfolio where you have 20% in large cap growth stocks, 20% in dividend growth stocks or just dividend stocks, 20% in the emerging market US and international ETFs called exchange traded funds. You can also look back at one of my episode, previous episodes if you want to learn more about what is ETF, index funds, and mutual funds. You can have another 20% into real estate or REITs, 5 to 10% into gold. Uh, stocks or actual physical gold or nowadays more like cryptocurrencies and 5% into alternative investments and the rest you could have it in cash as you can tell based on the percentage of allocation of your capital to diff- many many different types of uh, stocks uh, they can the, the growth stocks dividend stocks uh, ETFs into emerging markets uh, US market international uh, the 20% into REITs which is most likely into uh, real estate and a whole bunch of other stuff you are essentially obviously spreading out your capitals into many different types of securities assets class in order to reduce your overall uh, risk level and of course uh, that would also most likely potentially reduce your overall potential returns but of course that's the trade-off if you want to have a reduced risk and most people do run a diversified portfolio because it makes them be able to sleep better at night so based on the allocation i just told you of course that it is to reduce risk and to make a reasonable return on an annual basis another type of diversified portfolio might look like something like this if you are an investor that wants to invest into other different assets class it might look like something like this you have 30 percent into stocks it can be either growth dividends etfs uh, and more depending on yourself in that case uh, most will actually put into dividends or growth or a mix of both usually or just they just buy etf and that's it 40 percent into real estate like actual properties like condos townhouses, detached offices and factories, 20% into precious metals, so actual metal, uh, actual gold and silver, and then they have a vault and they keep it in there. But nowadays, usually people just buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ripple, and all the other alter coins that are out there currently right now. And of course, you will have a small percentage, like maybe 5 to 10% are in cash. As you can tell, both of them these types of portfolios are used to reduce your overall portfolio risk and to eliminate something called a concentration risk, which is where you are exposing yourself to having big up and down swings if the major positions that you currently hold perform poorly. So it's, a, it's like the same idea as the key man risk for companies where there is a very well-known individual or individuals that can have a very negative 
impact or effect on the company if something bad happens to that individual or to that group of individuals. Uh, as you can tell, the main idea of a diversified portfolio is to reduce risk, make some reasonable returns like maybe 6 to 8% annually, and it is used more for protecting your portfolio from major swings and to pr- protect and safeguard your wealth, not to really make you rich. In my experience, having a diversified diversified portfolio is pretty good you can sleep well pretty uh, at night knowing you wouldn't have to experience any major downturns or downswings for most part but you also wouldn't get to experience the major upswings uh, for your portfolio too because that's the ri- trade-off right you're essentially making your um, ups and downswings to be you know smaller and more flat which is uh, obviously reduce your overall risk level um, but if with a higher uh, if you have, you know, some, if you are willing to do other stuff, of course you can um, do put more into a certain stock, and that will more lean to a concentrated portfolio, which is what we're going to talk about later. Back to diversified portfolio, it is meant to be a slow and steady um, portfolio where you experience hopefully growth over a long period of time to reach your goals, or to have a decent size for whatever the purpose of your capital is for. The key for a diverse, diversified portfolio is not to lose a lot of money and to slowly make money over a long period of time. Um, so the most famous example of um, someone that uses a diversified portfolio or mainly ETFs is the now deceased Jack uh, Bogle. will say that in, instead of finding the needle in the haystack, it is better to just buy the haystack so you where you have a very diversified portfolio and you will of course reduce your overall risk level and you don't have to think about what to buy uh, a diversified portfolio it's pretty good for people that doesn't really want to spend too much time and effort into understanding the market the macroeconomics the current trends and pretty much don't want to individually pick stocks because they understand there's a higher risk to picking individual stocks or to concentrate all your money, capital or money into just a uh, few industries or uh, few individual stocks. They don't like that, that idea. So a lot of these people usually just buy into ETFs or buy into you know, a lot of different um, assets class in order to pretty much make some decent return. But of course, uh, a diverse portfolio uh, for ma- majority people makes a lot of sense uh, because for the average people, a diverse portfolio is something that uh, that will actually make a lot of sense because you don't have to spend a lot of time, you don't have to spend a lot of effort. You can just really um, every two weeks or every month you just buy into an ETF or buy into a group of ETFs and with a relatively well diversified. Uh, and po- hopefully a proper assets allocation too. Uh, you, they, you can make a pretty decent return over a long period of time while by having to worry about what is happening with the stock itself. And of course, you, the main thing is uh, if you it can allow you to sleep well at night. So a diverse portfolio, it's pretty much um, recommended for most average uh, or normal people. Now, a concentrated portfolio, on the other hand, a concentrated portfolio is the opposite of a diversified portfolio. You are really just focusing on a few, like two or three securities or two or three assets, and you're pretty much putting all your effort, all your time, and all your capital into these few securities or assets. And of course, you would have a higher risk level because you are just putting all your basket into, well, all your eggs into few baskets in order to really increase your chance of hopefully. Uh, potentially making significantly a lot more money compared to someone that has a diversified portfolio. In other words, people that run a concentrated portfolio are aggressively trying to make it big or increase their wealth aggressively by taking on more risk. And it's not for the weak heart or the paper hands people. You will need to have great patience, great conviction, and you have to believe that you did all the due diligence you have you do before you buy your securities and you hopefully you have a winner on your hand for the long term. Um, so of course, think of 
Uh, you can think of a lot of examples. The best.